the song, come on in the club. Put it up, put it up, put it up. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Hello, Diamonds, how are you all doing? This is your girl, Fina Diamond. Yeah, so today I have done a video. Sorry to see me on this rope again. I just did my foundation videos and now I'm on my concealer one. So every video that I've done in order on how I use my makeup, I'll be putting in the in the description for you to see. So they will all be in the description box in order on how I do them. So I'm on the concealer one. So you'll be seeing my primer and my foundation video in the description. So if you haven't watched them, you have to watch them to see the ones to see if there's anything you like please if there's any uh, concealer that i will mention here that you have or the ones that you feel like oh fina you've not tried this try that let me know in the comment section and please if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe like and share and let's go on let's just carry on start by showing you guys the only two the only pot concealer that i have so i wanted to say two pot concealers now it's the same company but i have two shades so it's my matte studio finish pot concealer the shade that i have here is nc nc45 and nc48 i got the 48 first 48 was my shade and then i was meant to return the 48 45 was sent to me to return 48 and by the time i wanted to return it something happened i was just literally everywhere and i couldn't return it so i ended up having the both of them which is not bad because i use them the days that i don't want to do too much on my face i use the 48 to clean my under brow and which is really good because it's just natural so if i need a little bit of the brightness under my eye i use the 45 i love these two pot concealer this is the only pot concealer that i own and i love them so yeah so the next one i have here is the loader double wear radiant concealer in the shade 6w extra d this concealer is also my shade you can see some of my concealers are my shade because sometimes when i do my makeup i just want to have like a natural finish i don't want my face to look too much like i just want to look put together but not in too much like i don't want to be too much out there i like using a, a concealer that is almost like my shade to just put everything together but sometimes i like i like it when my under eye is bright and sometimes i like to mix this with a brighter concealer depending this concealer is a good concealer and i love it the next concealer that i have there is my pat mcgraw lab concealer in the shade um nd26 sorry nd26 is almost like the shade of my um of my foundation but in the part my Grail foundation i have nd28 but the concealer i have nd26 i was meant to buy nd24 or 22 but i like i said sometimes i just want my concealer to be same shade as my foundation shade and that is why i got this one and i love this concealer this is one of my concealer that if i run out i would definitely repurchase this concealer i am in love with it yeah I would have been swatching them for you guys, but it would take us forever if I swatch them. And most of the concealers that I'm showing you guys, I think I've used them in my videos. If you watch my makeup videos, you must have seen those concealers. So we won't be swatching them, but I'm just, I will just be telling you the shade that I have and be telling you if they are lighter or if they are okay for me, just for you to know. The next one so that I have here is my MAC foundation. I have two shades as well. Same thing that happened with the pots happened here. So the shade that I have here is God. Can I see this shade now? Yeah, um, NW40, yeah, NW40 and NC45. So NW40, I've owned this NW40 for years. If you can see, it's almost somewhere here. I've owned this NW40. I bought this when I went to America, 2015, I know. <laughs> I've owned this concealer for years. So 2015 was when I bought this one and then I ended up getting NW, um, NC45 and NC45 is a shade that I like. So, so most times I mix both of them together to get the shade that I want. In all the concealers, like this is one of the best concealer out there. But the problem is that the concealer doesn't have Dofa applicator. Like the double wear one, look at the Dofa applicator of that one really big you can see how good this Dofa applicator looks i love it and then the pat mcgrath one has got a Dofa applicator as well which is just a slim Dofa applicator which is good me love too but this one has got 
a pump. How can a concealer have a pump for heaven's sake? So what I do, I just pump it on my concealer brush and then apply it under my eye. But this is one of the best concealers out there that I've used. Yes, yes. For concealer in my collection, regardless of the packaging, this is another concealer that I would repurchase. I love this concealer for four months. And then the next one I have here is Radiant creamy concealer so radiant creamy concealer i've got two shades as well so the shade that i have here is um the shade that i have here is amande and toffee i think yeah yeah toffee so i have amande and toffee so toffee is a bit kind of like my shade as well and amande is like my proper concealer shade i love these two together but i always use the amande and i use the toffee days that i want to look natural like i always say this concealer mm, i like but i don't love people love it but to me it's just like every other concealer i don't really i can put this one in my love i can put this in my must have i can put this in my repurchasing from um, concealers no it's just the hype on this concealer that made me got them but if i run out of this am i going to repurchase it no but if it's on crazy offer yes i will get it but it's not something i will be i'll be like oh i don't have it i need it in my collection no i i like it but i don't love it so depending on what you like but people really swear down on that they love it but to me now so the next one i have here is the only correct um what's it called um the only radiant creamy color corrector that i have is from nas i love this color corrector i don't really color correct that much but when i do this is just what does the job i don't have another and i love this and yeah that is the only color corrector that i have and me love this one from nas I love it. So I can't talk about other color corrector or say, oh, this is better than that. This is the only one that I've used. And do I have any option but to love it? I do love it. So yeah. So straight down, let's see what else we have here. So I have, oh, crazy. Next one I have here is the Fenty Pro Filter Radiant Retouch Concealer in the shade 390 and 420. So I have 390 and 390, 420. I got both of them last two years. Yeah, last two years. Is it last two years or last year? I think last year, December, yeah. Fenty was doing this crazy offer and this was on 80% off. That was when I got their foundation. Everything that has to do with, majority of things that had to do with Fenty that I own right now was when I got them. They were doing this 70, 80% off and that was when I got the two of these. And yeah, it's just like the way I like this is the same as the NAS one. So it's just something that I use because I have them in my collection. But it's not something that when I run out of them, I'm like, oh, I need them again. I like, but I don't love. Yeah. So what I have here is Razor Must Use um, Concealer from Maybelline. So this concealer here, you can see how much I've used this one. I have used this one as well, but this one is really, really light, but I always use this one. This one is 11 and this one is 10. So 11 is my shade, 10 is really light. So I only use 10 if I am using um, my um, MAC, the NW40. I mix a little bit of the um, 10, but 11 is what I normally use. This is so good. This concealer is very, very good. The coverage and everything. But if you're using this, it will give you like a tingly sensation. But to me, after that, nothing happens. I like it. You can see how much I've used this. If I need like a full coverage, if you haven't tried this, like you are sitting on a long thing. This foundation is, this, what am I calling it foundation? Yeah, you can use this as a foundation. I saw the foundation, they have a foundation of this and I really want to try the foundation. So this concealer is a must have and it's affordable. It is a good concealer. This concealer is a concealer that I would definitely repurchase. Yes, yes, yes. I will always have this in my collection, mainly this 11. 10, I won't repurchase because I won't even finish it. So it's just going to be here forever. But 11, I will definitely repurchase the 11. This is so good. So this is how it applies. It comes with this. And this one is the one that, look, 
because I have it open and that is the shade. I love it. It just finishes like a matte, it finishes like a matte luminous silk finish and it dries down quick. So you have to be quick when using that. I love this. So the Fenty one has got a Dofa applicator like the Pat McGrath. Um, the, every other one I showed you guys that has got Dofa applicator. This one is just the only one that have this sponge thing under the eye which i don't really like because um hygiene wise this is not good because you put it on and you use it forever and ever still the same if you have anything going on on your skin and you use this you're going to contaminate this and then you keep reapplying it which is not wise that is the only downfall of this but other than that i love this concealer a whole lot it's just the applicator that mm, i don't like but hey i'm the only one using it and i make sure whenever i use it is when my skin is clear like if i have anything going on on my skin i don't like using it because i don't want to contaminate it so yeah what i have so here is my juvia's place their concealer so this is juvia's place concealer in the shade 10 so look at this packaging guys i love this i love love love, love. it's got dofa applicator this is the second to the biggest um concealer that i have here i like this concealer yeah i like it a whole lot so this is one of the concealers if i run out am i going to repurchase full price i won't repurchase it but if it's on offer i am definitely going to repurchase this i like it so let's go into this one i wouldn't even count this this was a gift i was gifted this when i bought something from one of the sites and you can see the shade is really light so i don't really use it i just use it for a top up like some days i just want my under eye to be really bright i just want to put like brightness here i just put like a dot dot and put it there and leave it for a while before i put on other stuff i know how to use it i love i like the finish but I can't really say much about it. That's just what I use it for because the color is off. You can see it's not my shade, but I use it. Sorry, guys, my nails look really bad. Removed. I'm not showing you the nails. So the so next one I have here is from Fenty. So this is Fenty Bright Fix. So this is Fenty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. So I have the shade Toffee 14 and the shade Honey Monster 11. So I got the Toffee 14 first, which is a bit darker, and then I got the Honey Monster 11 just to top it up. So this is what the Honey Monster is coming a little bit. I need to wipe that off. I hate my stuff looking messy, so I'm just gonna wipe that off. I've had this now for like two years, and I like it. I like using it with the eavesdrop. So the eavesdrop, their tinted moisturizer, I like using this with the eavesdrop together and sometimes when i use like my nas light reflecting foundation and i don't want to do too much i use this as well and um, this is good i love this will i repurchase this yes i will and then we're getting down to the final so guys so the next one i have here is my elf hydrating camo concealer i've got two shades as well yeah doing three for two and i got these three so this shade here wait guys let me tell you guys something <laughs> i was looking for the elf camo uh, i was looking for the elf camo um concealer the matte finish one which is this one yeah so i got this one so this is from elf as well this is their flawless concealer so i've been using this flawless concealer for a very, as long as this is the only concealer that i've been using and i was calling this the 16 hour camo concealer I was thinking this was a 16. So one day I made a video where I was asking a question. I'm sure I edited that part. I was asking, I was like, is this the 16 hour or do they have the 16 hour? Guys, I didn't know this why the 16 hour was sitting in my drawer. Because I got these three together. So I got this and then these two. So in my head, I was thinking this one is this one because they are the same shade. So this is chestnuts on the 16 hour and this is chestnuts on the flawless one. So my flawless one is the one that I've been calling the 16 hour. This is my second one on the flawless one. I love this concealer a whole lot. I would definitely repurchase this. When I try this one, I've tried this one just once because I was like, no, 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 no. I watched a video and I found out that the Dofa applicator of this, the flawless one is smaller 
and it's kind of like flat you see what i mean do you see how it is so it's different from the dofa applicator of the 16 hour and the 16 hour dofa applicator is big so when i saw it i was like no my one is not the same with their one and then i wanted to order it and i then opened my drawer i'm like oh let me see because i've almost run out of this one so i said let me see the one that i have in my drawer and i put it on i saw um 16 hour camel concealer i'm like <laughs> so i've had this all this while in my drawer i didn't even know so to me i've used this one once but to be honest with you i don't know i don't want to be quick to tell you that this one is i've been using this one this is my second one like literally i've almost run out of this one so i still have a little but i know maybe like five or six years i can't say but i know that i'm almost running out of this one i love this i would definitely repurchase repurchase this this is what i've been calling my 16 hour camo i love this one but this one i used it once and maybe because that day my my makeup didn't really come out the way i wanted so that is why i'm going to give you another shot to know if i like it more than this one and i'm going to try and make a video side by side to tell the difference but this one is bigger than this one well let me see their sizes if i can find it hmm. where am i gonna find this right now give me a second guys so this one is smart finish and this one is hmm, this one should be hydrated i'm not sure I can't find the price. I can't find the sizes on it. It should be somewhere here, but your girl eyes can find them. So this is the size you can see. The flawless is smaller than the 16 hour. The 16 hour is bigger than the flawless. So yeah, I've got both of them, and I've got the 16 hour in the um um what's it called satin finish. So this is their matte. This is their matte finish and this one is their satin finish as you can see i've been using both as well i like this one am i going to repurchase this one no i will not once i run out of this one i will repurchase it i don't really like it that much but it's something that i use because i have it and i want to use it it's something that i use because i have it in my collection and i want to use it i want i want to finish it but not like when i finish it i will repurchase it but this one I would definitely repurchase this one and then I will give this one more goals to see if I like this more than this because I have heard a whole lot about this one and people say this is their best so I want to see if it's my best because this is what I've been calling my 16 hours so I want to see if this is better than this or same yeah so I'm going to give you a go and I will come back to you guys definitely we'll be doing it together so you will know if it's better or not I will let you all know I just left my best for the last okay the last my guys day. if you've been watching my video you should know my best by now yes you should know just type in the comment section let me know the one you think is my best I'm waiting I'm waiting you have 30 seconds to do that I'm waiting I'm waiting I am patiently waiting 25 seconds to go type in in the comment section tell me which one you think is my best concealer you know what let me just help you guys let me break it you all know you all know it is my it is my bond this way multi sculpting concealer yes i've got three shades i have a review of this i have a review of this concealer on my other channel Fina space i have a full review of this three i first had the um caramel one I was looking for these two on the site they don't have it like every time i check they are always sold out and i was like you know what i just need this concealer i don't know why i've not tried it but i just wanted it and i got the caramel the caramel is the same as this one the shade is as the same as the um juvia's place one so that's why i don't normally reach the juvia's place so the shade of the juvia's place and the caramel is almost the same and then guys I just got a notification and they said this one is an offer. Your girl had to pick both of them. But the one that I normally use, like if you're my shade and you're looking for the one just to get one of these, get the chestnut. Chestnut is good. If you're lighter than me, then go for the butterscotch. Butterscotch is good. I like blending these two together or use them separately. Like the days I want my under eye to look bright, I use the butterscotch. Your girl, I don't care. The day that I want my eyes to look bright and in a good way, I mix my caramel and my chestnut together and the way your girl the day your girl want to look like i just want to be me i just want to be put together i use my chestnut yes 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 this is the concealer that 
I will repurchase, repurchase, repurchase. In everything I have here, you can take them and just keep this. Thank you. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm to just cut down and say, okay, yeah, I don't want, I just want one concealer. I'll just go for the chestnut. In. That's it. And I'm fine. Take every other concealer here. I'm good. If there's anyone in everything that I've shown you guys that I love so much with a passion, is this one. Yes, yes, yes. This is it. This is the biggest concealer that I have here. Like, literally, this is a foundation size. What is the size here? Oh, please, people, show me this. 13.5 ml is the size of this one. The Juvia's Place one, I can't see the size, is written, is so tiny, guys. I can't. Yeah. So, the Juvia's is the second to. So, this is my biggest concealer, and the Juvia's Place is the second one. And the third one is the Elf one and the rest is just like every other and the double wear as well is big and so guys that is it i don't want this video to be long and it's getting long now yeah so guys that is it please don't forget to leave me a comment let me know the ones that you own let me know the ones that you like let me know if you agree with me that this is one of the best concealers out there let me know and please if there's anyone you want to recommend and you go feel like you've not tried this this is the best let me know i heard that the huda beauty one is really good i don't want to get more concealers i just, I just want to finish the makeup stuff that i have in my shelf i want to finish them but the Huda Beauty from um, Concealer, I heard that is really good. That is another one that I'm eyeing. If it's on great offer, I'm going to get that one. But other than that, just let me know in the comment section anyone that you feel like, oh, Fina, you've not tried this. This is good. Or the ones that you go, oh, Fina, I've tried this one and I like it. Or maybe anyone you see that I like and you don't like it, let me know why you don't like it. Okay? Let's chat in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and help your girl hit a thousand. I am this close to a thousand nine hundred and something. We're nearly there. Please help me. I am begging in all my video. Literally, I am begging for this help, and I sincerely mean it. So, yeah, that is it, guys. Don't forget to show yourself love, and I will catch you guys again in my next video. I just wanted to do all this makeup stuff and just get it out of the way. So, in case even if I'm not doing makeup videos coming next year, which I will be doing, but not as I used to, just for you to know that this is what I use and this is how I use it my camera lights just keep changing i'm not using any lights it's just natural light um yeah i just want to show you guys things that i have in case if i'm not doing any makeup video for you guys to know what to get which i know i'll be doing makeup video but not as i used to i just want to do something a little bit different from not really that much different but i just want to spice things up a little bit yeah so that is it guys um don't forget to show yourself love and i'll catch you guys definitely in my next video always remember that diamonds are forever okay Love you all diamonds. Bye.